My name is Amelia Hancock. I'm originally from Louisiana. Um, I am in New York now studying at NYU um, within their art school. I'm studying interactive telecommunications. Um, and prior to that, I was in Chicago studying interactive marketing communications for a master's degree at Loyola. Um, and then I got my undergraduate degree at Louisiana Tech for communication design. Um, communication design is a major that was within the art school at Louisiana Tech. Um, so going into the art school, you have several different options. Often you can focus on um, studio art, fine art. Those are more kind of a, a fine, fine arts direction. Um, communication design is more of a commercial focus. Um, in some other schools, they call it graphic design. Um, my program was more focused on um, conceptualizing uh, an idea of to, it, it had a marketing focus. Um, it's more about conceptualization and art direction and less about the technicalities of learning Photoshop or Illustrator. We, we did focus on programs, but it was, it was kind of an afterthought. The, the important part was the, the concept of, of how to communicate um, in, a, in a marketing sense. In telling others to pursue this major, it makes sense to talk about why I was interested in it. Um, I, I had a lot of in, different interests coming into college. Um, one of them was to have uh, the ability to be creative, um, and I really liked art. Another was um, that I was really interested in psychology and how people think and react to different things. Um, and the third, I, I, I really enjoyed English and, and reading and understanding how people communicate um, verbally. Um, and then I guess all together, how all these things work together to communicate um, something to someone and how they would re react to it. So communication design allowed me to um, focus on that very creative aspect of design and um, learning things like color theory, um, but it also allowed me to kind of um, get better at, at writing and communicating verbally and, and then that other aspect of understanding um, how people might react to my designs and how that might influence their behavior. So after graduation, um, I think the, the majority of people choose a commercial focus. Um, so it's, it's kind of a range of anything from um, you know, t-shirt designs, designing promotional materials for bands, um, and then into kind of a, a more, um, more corporate existence and advertising and promotions and, um, and specifically in advertising art direction, copywriting. Um, those are the most common uh, avenues. I chose to pursue um, two different master's degrees. Uh, the first was in marketing because I really wanted to kind of get a, a develop a business acumen um, and and I was more interested in how business and art kind of um, they go together and that has resulted in a lot of work on brands um, so uh, so from there, I, I chose to go to NYU to study interactive telecommunications, which is kind of the, um, the coming together of art and technology, um, because I wanted to gain a more digital technology-based focus um, so I could eventually direct brand, um, brand development in kind of a digital space. So the, the coursework associated with um, a communication design major is really kind of split in two. Um, the first two years are really about core classes. So um, I did take a lot of lecture um, seminar type classes um, with a lot of other students that had different majors. You know, we, I took the basic history classes, math classes, 
Um, and then once I kind of had that core down, I went into um, pretty much staying within the art school. And then, so the class structure for my, my communication design classes, the art classes in general, is a little bit different than the rest of the university. Um, whereas a lecture class might be, you know, an hour, an hour and a half, um, art classes are, are labs. They're considered to be labs, so they are longer class periods. They, they were three hours, um, which is actually a really great thing because it gives you a lot of time to collaborate with your classmates. You have time to to actually get instruction from the professor, um, as well as have a little class time to focus on your designs and things that you would you would probably normally do at home. Um, so the the long class the class periods were a huge benefit, I think, to the program. I guess it, it kind of goes back to the different focuses that comprise what communication design is and what it means to visually communicate with somebody. Um, in high school, I really loved psychology courses. Um, English was always my favorite class. Um, I really liked kind of uh, reading and then um, imagining, kind of following along in my head what was going on in the story and kind of visualizing that. Um, and also art classes, of course, were always really fun for me. Um, so I guess the, the, how that translates to college is um, the art classes were, were longer and very collaborative. Um, courses in communication design are similar to that. Um, English classes is a lot of uh, conceptualizing and theory, um, which also kind of feeds into communication design and the way that you approach projects. Um, additionally, psychology is a lot about kind of observing people and understanding the way they react um, and behave. And so that kind of filters into the way that you think about your projects and what you want the outcome to be of those. Um, and then something that wasn't available to me in high school, but I, I'm pretty sure is, is beginning to be more available, is um, graphics art classes, where um, you're actually uh, delving into programs like Photoshop and Illustrator and, and understanding the more technical side of that. That's you know, a huge benefit to, once you get into communication design.